lead with one to go. Three Chevys and one Ford. And it doesn't matter now. Your friends are where you find them. And from oh, hanging boy. out back, Carl Edwards. I'll tell you, I don't know if they can catch them. What we've seen today, two cars get that big a lit run on them. I don't know that the 39 and the 88 can catch them. They're in the draft of Edwards and Keselowski. He's all over you here, just you and him. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. If that, nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get him. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keselowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the other side. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns it. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed. And Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner. And Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. Larry, look at that. The carburetor has gone it's off It's completely the gone. Carl did the, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Not sure where Carl's going. Maybe he thinks if he runs across the start finish line, it'll count. That's what he's. Got, that's what he's doing. He's that's gonna, what he's doing. He's like a mar You know how he is. He's an athlete, a marathon runner. I want to finish the race. And he did yes, to he a did. standing ovation from the crowd. Shades of Ricky Bobby. Don't you know, Larry, that James Finch is fit you to be tied right now? Finch owns this car. He bought it from Rick Hendrick and leased the engine, a whole Hendrick package. Let's take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. And Newman took a hard hit from Edwards as well. Look at just a car with the room left on the bottom. And what happened here is the 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up a little bit to block him and 09 went right back to the bottom and clipped him. You know, the move looked a lot like the one that Brian Vickers put on Jimmy Johnson when Vickers won. Wow. But what a hit. Wow. That is 1987 all over again. Oh, my gosh. And did you see that? I believe it was Biffle that almost T-boned the 99. But watch. The 09 is going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. Well, <laughs> I knew it was going to be wild. I didn't know it was going to be this wild. Right here, the three back from him. This is from Carl's onboard Looking camera. Inside, zero, nine. But Daryl, I, I want to ask you. And from Dale Jr. Oof. But, Daryl, I want to ask you on air because I did not see Brad Keselowski do anything wrong there. No, no. It was a blocking move on Carl. The 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up to block that move. And when Carl came down, the 09 was there. Another first time winner at Talladega. Here's the cool down lap. Dale Jr. and Brad Keselowski kind of getting together. Junior well, with a big fist pump and whoa, Fred, Keselowski. Fred Keselowski didn't see him up there. <laughs> now everybody's Kyle gonna, Bush. Everybody's going to say that Kyle Bush spun the winner out after the race, <laughs> but I beg, I beg to pardon it with you.